and welcome to First Rock Fellowship. We're so excited to worship Jesus with you in person and online. Download the new Church Center app to access First Rock Fellowship Bulletin, sermons, prayer chain, online church directory, giving, and our website. Please join us for First Rock Fellowship Fall Women's Retreat at Rancho de la Roca, October 28th and 29th. It's $85 per person. Sisters in Christ Mission Outreach. Please collect coins in water bottles or donate via check to supply needy communities worldwide with water filtration systems through Pure Water, Pure Love. If you are interested in the First Rock Fellowship co-ed softball team, ages 18 and over, please sign up in the hospitality area to register today. Registration ends August 28th. Hey, howdy everybody, it's your buddy Hondo coming to you this morning talking about some exciting things that are going to be having at First Rock Fellowship coming up here in September. We got three classes starting and I got my calendar out getting ready to get everything written down in uh, official, the official crown right there, I'm ready to go. Alright, well the first one is the Kingdom Man class. It starts on uh, September the 6th at 6.30 uh, back in Bowman Hall. We're going to be meeting for six weeks. Kingdom Man, $16, sign up out in the foyer gate. Uh, then let's see, on uh, September the 8th, we got the Sit, Walk, Stand class being led by Mr. Mike Edwards, and that's going to be 6.30 to 7.30 back in Bowman Hall. Uh, that's on the Thursdays. And then let's see, uh, uh, the 100 Day Glory Experiment class, which is open to everybody ages 8 and up. Just come on out and, and join that class. Uh, the, the, the study guide for that is $7, and all the sign-ups for all of these different classes are going to be out in the full yay. Now, as you put this all together, I know sometimes we get ourselves all tied up with all kinds of other things going on. And get the, the important thing, i got my flex seal tape here. The important thing is to be flexible. Oh, man. This happens all the time. Text! Text! I, I need some help. I got myself all wrapped up again. Uh, anyway, everybody, just go ahead and open up them calendars. Get yourself ready. Men's classes Tuesday night, Thursday night, and everybody come on Saturday morning. We'd love to see you there. Thank you again for joining us. We hope you have a wonderful week. Came across this very interesting story about a man called Kimball. Apparently, he was a Sunday school teacher who just wanted to serve God. He would show up to church every Sunday and serve faithfully in teaching the little children about Jesus Christ. He was a Sunday school teacher who had a great passion who wanted to do more than just doing it on Sundays. So during the weekdays, he would actually follow through with all the children who came to his class on Sunday to make sure that they understood who Jesus was and it helped them understand a better relationship with him. And there was one kid in this class who was, came from a very rough background and couldn't understand who God was. So Kimball would take the extra step in going and visiting this kid in his place of work. And they, back in those days, it was, you know, the kids were working as laborers. He would visit him at his shoe store where he worked and would tell them about Jesus and would kept persuading him about what an amazing plan that Jesus had for his life. And finally, in the back of the store, this little young kid, you know, accepts Jesus Christ as his Lord and Savior. And his name was D.L. Moody, an amazing man of God. And because someone called Richard Kimball decided he was going to pursue it. But here's the interesting thing. The story doesn't end there. The story actually begins there. Because D.L. Moody received this incredible salvation experience. He says, i got to do something about it. Quits his job and begins preaching the gospel. And God uses D.L. Moody to go throughout the whole world. And when D.L. Moody was traveling in the United States, there was a man called Wilbur Chaplin who hears the message of D.L. Moody in one of the evangelistic crusades and responds to the message says, I gotta, I gotta do something for Jesus. And Wilbur Chapman then begins to preach the gospel himself. And while Wilbur Chapman is preaching the gospel, a baseball player who was well known in America listens to the message of Wilbur Chapman. At the end of his crusade, he comes up and gives up his life to Jesus. And his name was Billy Sunday. And Billy Sunday, right after he receives Jesus, quits his career at baseball and says, I'm going to devote the rest of my life in serving Jesus Christ. So he begins to do crusades just like Wilbur Chapman does. And as Billy Sunday begins preaching the gospel, 
a man called Mordecai Ham, who is a very astute gentleman, who is very refined, who is seated in his crusade, hears the message of Jesus Christ, stands up and gives his life for Jesus Christ. And this guy, Mordecai Ham, goes to a little town called Charlotte in North Carolina, and he's preaching the gospel in the 10th crusade meeting. And there's a bunch of kids who are standing outside, and they were saying, we got to go in there, and we're going to cause trouble tonight in that meeting. And in that bunch of friends, there was one kid who didn't want to cause trouble, but he just wanted to see what would happen when they caused trouble. So he walked into that tent meeting to come and see what would happen when his friends would cause trouble. But as he sat there in that tent meeting, hearing Mordecai Ham preach the gospel, something within him resonated. And he said, I got to respond to this. So he went the next night, and the next night when he heard the gospel, he went out to the altar and gave his life to Jesus Christ. His name was Billy Graham. And Billy Graham, hold on, I'm not done yet. Billy Graham, till date, it has been estimated that through the ministry of Billy Graham, 2.2 billion people have heard the gospel of Jesus Christ through the ministry of Billy Graham. It all began in a chain of series with a man called Kimball, a Sunday school teacher. Of all people who said, I'm going to be devoted with the gifting that God has placed in my life, I'm going to do it every Sunday sincerely. I'm going to go out of my way and I'm going to tell these kids about Jesus and what he started ended up reaching 2.2 billion people and more because we're not taking into account all the other people who got saved through all the other evangelists who were saved in the process as well. Never underestimate what God can do through a simple act of service that you do for His kingdom. You need to recognize that what God has given, whether you think it's significant or not, in God's eyes, is absolutely significant.